how's it going guys so uh thanks to you guys i've hit 400 subscribers and uh i really really appreciate it i'm really enjoying myself on this um and so i'm going to do another breakdown on a fishing spot and i'm going to show you uh, bird island and um one thing i do want to uh, uh let you know is um john freeman was the the last winner for my giveaway for the 300 mark and uh, so john if uh if you see this i know i kind of talked to you but i need you to uh find me either on facebook or on instagram so i can get your information and uh so i can send you a lure of your choice so uh, uh let's on to the video thanks a lot Yes, so uh, the spot I wanted to tell you about, or do the breakdown, is for Bird Island Basin. Uh, Bird Island Basin is actually located in the National Seashore. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is come all the way down 358, down the freeway, over the JFK, and if you look here, this is the Packery Channel, so you kind of get an idea where you're at. And you just keep coming down all the way until you get to the National Seashore. You just keep driving. Just keep driving, Drake. Don't turn. All the way to the National Seashore here. Okay. So once you get in, uh, you got to pay ten dollars. I want to say it's for three for three days. If you get there real early, you kind of bypass that a little bit. But it's a good idea to pay so these these uh, these people will get their money huh, at some point. So go ahead and come all the way down the seashore, national seashore, and then you're going to turn. It's going to be your first turn to the right. Okay, there's going to be a sign way up here. If it's dark, you need to make sure you see the sign and you're going to turn slow down because it's it's you can miss it. You have to come back. So once you do that, where you want to go is you're going to turn another right turn. There's a little sign here. So make sure, again, make sure you're going slow. There's no lights out there. And uh, so you can, don't miss it. So you're going to come all the way down. Okay. Now, the cool, the cool place, you can actually go both ways. You can launch. You can launch over here or you can launch over here. Where I launch is actually right over here in this area. So this is actually the boat launch. Okay, you can't, you're not supposed to launch on the boat launch. Okay, so what I do is I actually back up my truck right here and unload right in this area okay right you just back up and you can launch right here so all this is is actually really really good spot to launch okay once you're done launching unloading uh, you can go ahead and park anywhere over here okay do not park here don't block it for everybody else please Okay. Now, the second spot that you could actually go if you wanted to is you come back around and you're going to go all the way down to the end over here. And you could actually launch. You can park in here and you can launch in this area. Okay. Now, you have to drag your boat a little further through here. Okay, so that's not that's not necessarily ideal so the ideal so the best spot I suggest and again is this area do not block it for everybody else now once you're once you're ready ready to go fishing uh, watch out for the boats obviously and uh, all this area right here is where the boats are coming through so don't block the boats 
Now a good spot is usually these islands. Okay. There's reds that hold up all in this area. Okay. All in this area. So come through here. You can work your way to this spot on the way over there. Back up a little bit, sorry. Um, all this area is really good flats. Um, there is a there is a little channel boat channel right here. Don't block that boat channel. But it's actually really good. A lot of potholes in this area. All all in this area is really good. Um, actually, if you want to go wading, this area is actually really good for wading. There is a drop off that runs. All this is a drop off. Okay. I want to say like a two or three foot drop off and um, that's that's a good spot to to try okay trout um, I've caught trout all in this area all in this area now then uh, like I said potholes potholes all in this area but my one of my favorite spots is right around in here now there is a sign right about here and another sign right about here that says do not enter past this spot because all this is bird this is bird island and then there's another bird island up on the top and I'll show you but you don't want to you can't go on the island I actually talked to a game warden and uh, asked him about it and he said you cannot go on the island but you can fish up to the island so the reds will hold up in these coves, especially right in here. I've caught a bunch. I have a video where I've caught a whole bunch on that on a wake bait. Um, redfish and trout in this area. The channel runs from here and then all the way out this way. Okay. So you could fish. Just you can work your way. What I typically do is work all the way around in this area. But there's reds that hold up in this area. Depending on which way the water's flowing, this is a this way will go through. So you can catch them on this side and you can catch them on this side. Okay. Now another good spot for trout is here's your channel. It is all in this area. There's like a like a, a reef here land reef there so all the way up into here there's nice trout um, a lot of trout all in this area there's a lot of potholes and drop-offs little uh, variations in the uh, in the heights it goes from about two foot to three foot just drops you know back and forth and sometimes even even like right here it's, it's real shallow so that's a good same here it's shallow so anywhere all up in here now another another spot that I like is is fishing into the channel okay um, big reds cotton big reds there a buddy of mine a couple of buddy of mine's uh, have caught really big some really big reds there um, now after that you can work your way up into there's a channel also that runs right about here okay and when I say channel this is like 10 uh, like 20 feet right here okay 10 foot about, about right here and then over here is about six to eight foot channel that runs through here okay you do not do not want to stay within this big channel. This is actually where the barges come through, and uh, you don't want to be there when the barges are, are coming through. You want to stay to the side. If you see them coming, you know, get off, get away from there. <laughs> the, the the waves push you out. I mean, everything. Now, these areas, there's um, you can fish all up in these areas to 
to possibly catch some uh, flounder up in this area all around these piers um, it runs it's it's pretty shallow two one to two feet up in this area okay uh, what I would like what I actually like to do is on calm days is just basically fish all the way all the way up and down here um, there's potholes all up in here and work my way to the King Ranch this is King Ranch shoreline okay everybody's heard about King Ranch shoreline you know how that how good it is out in that direction so I've caught big trout up in this area all up in here nice trout um, There is, uh, let's see where it's at here. I think it's right about here. There's a big dip right here. Uh, I want to say it's about a six foot. I've caught in some really nice reds there. Oh, here it is. It, right in front of me. Edmorn's Hole. All this area here, it's dark. It's, it's, it's deep. You can see it. It's a deep spot. It's about six foot. Um, I've caught a big red in there. Uh, but trout all up in this area. You can make sure you watch your, your weather. You don't want to get stuck going back in the wind. Now, um, another good spot is there's a launch. You can actually come down this direction. Uh, it gets shallow up in this area so be careful but there is some potholes in here all these islands again it's very shallow but you can I've caught reds up in this area um, trout all in here these are again these are all drop-offs and uh, it gets deeper and shallow but it is it does get pretty shallow every once in a while here if you make it this is actually a pretty far uh, spot to get to but from uh, just so you know get an idea where you're at from here to here is about a mile uh, from here all the way across you're looking at a little over four miles if you're fishing it you don't notice it just make sure that you watch the weather and you're not having to go all the way back in one shot um, against the wind you know that's the big thing if it's real shallow nice easy trip it's real nice um, so again over here so you're looking at about a mile to about right here and then so you're looking at probably uh, two miles two and a half miles right right here um, I don't know if you ever heard of, uh, of uh, Nighthawk Nighthawk sorry if you ever heard of Nighthawk that's where Nighthawk is at uh, but that's a that's a long that's a long haul um, to get over there. If you have a little motor on your boat, then by all means try to head head in that direction. Nighthawk is I want to say it's way over here. Okay, really good fishing over here. Deep spots back in here. There's a channel that run, but it is it is a long it is a long haul to go all the way over there and get back. Um, Again, these islands. Okay, it's very shallow. This is another island you can't get on, but it's very shallow, and you. But there is poss There is there are little, little canals that uh, little deep spots that are good to hit. Um, let's see. Another good spot again is this channel that runs right here, and this this shallow area is really good the uh, breakdown for bird island bird island basin in national seashore um, don't forget to take your cameras it's actually very 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 beautiful in this area and uh, again do not <laughs> I can't stress this enough please do not block this area 
park, unload, and then park. Now, the one of the really awesome uh, advantages of coming to this area is there's a bathroom right here. And if you need to unload before you load, you know what I mean? Before you unload. <laughs> so there's actually even a cutting table here after you catch. You can cut all your fish up here. Another advantage, another parking advantage. You don't have to. It's all it's all on paper. Well, that's it for me, guys. And uh, thank you again for uh, hitting hitting that 400 mark, for helping me hit that 400 mark. And uh, I'm gonna have another giveaway and another efficient spot at my 500 mark. Hopefully, I can get there. And thank you again. Tight lines, guys.